at the end of this um, quite cul-de-sac is this three bedroom um, semi-detached house. The house has off-road parking to the front and then a garage. Um, if we go through the uh, front door, come through into a uh, good sized hallway. Um, there is a downstairs loo. That's a good size there. Obviously stairs going upstairs. And then we have the door going into the living room, which is a nice sized living room. We have a double glazed window to the front. And then there is double doors through into the dining room, which has a, a door going into the garden and then a good size understairs storage cupboard. And then there is a door into the kitchen. This is stud partition wall between the two. So should you decide you wanted to open this up um, for a bigger, bigger room, then it's easy to do. Um, and the boiler is just there. And so there's a space for the dishwasher, the washing machine, the oven and hob, extractor, and then there is space in there for the fridge, freezer, and more kitchen units. Should go upstairs, so back through the living room. And through. So we've got three double bedrooms and two bathrooms on the uh, first floor. There's a cupboard in front that has all the hot water cylinders and loft access in the landing. If you go through into the main bedroom, it's a nice size double bedroom um, with um, plenty of fitted wardrobes and a double glazed window to the front and then there is the door to the ensuite shower room which has a sink, loo, um, shower and then there is a storage cupboard here and then back into the bedroom back into the landing and we go into the third bedroom, which again is a good size bedroom with a double glazed window overlooking the garden. And then back across the landing to the third bedroom, which again is a good size bedroom, ample space for wardrobes. And that has a nice size double glazed window to the front. And then through to the family bathroom, which has a sink, loo, and a bath, the wall mounted shower, and a frosted double glazed window to the overlooking the garden. And then we will go back down the stairs, back into the hallway, back through the living room and through the dining room and into the garden which is predominantly southwest facing. A little patio area here, garden shed. Um, there is a door there, which takes you into the back of the garage and I'll go for a potter down into the garden and you can see the house looks like from the rear.